Hello guys, welcome to my channel again. In this tutorial, we will see image segmentation uh, using ArcGIS Pro for uh, object-based image uh, classification. Uh, just open your ArcGIS Pro. I have uh, opened it here, and I have uh, satellite uh, orthophoto image here. I have added uh, orthophoto of my area. It is uh, it contains red, uh, green, and the blue. You see RGB or natural color combination. If you have satellite image that consists of uh, near infrared band, you can just change the appearance or the band combination by clicking this appearance button. For um, this tutorial, I'm using uh, this aerial uh, image or orthophoto image. So uh, we'll see how to uh, perform or how to do the image segmentation for uh, object-based image classification as you know there are two types of uh, image classification mainly the object-based and uh, pixel-based classification in object-based classification we are going to segment or group a pixels into uh, objects or into super pixels uh, the letter we use them for image classification so uh, image segmentation in ArcGIS Pro um, segmentation the classification tools provides an approach to extracting features from imagery based on objects so we are going to convert these pixels into uh, objects so these objects are created via an image segmentation uh, process where pixels in, pro in a close proximity and having similar spectral characteristics are group it together into segments so uh, this image or these pixels are going to be uh, clustered or grouped based on their similarity or spectral similarity and the segment is exhibiting criteria shapes spectral and the special uh, characters can be uh, further grouped into uh, objects so here we are going to consider a pixels those have similar spectral cluster 6 in order to group some into super pixels or into clusters or groups of uh, pixels so the object can then be grouped into classes that represent real world features on the ground so by using this group or segmented image we are going to classify our image into real world object or into different land cover uh, classes so image classification can also be performed on a pixel imagery for example in traditional unsegmented imagery or by using high resolution satellite image or uh, ortho rectified aerial imagery so the object oriented features extraction process is a workflow here in ArcGIS Pro supported by tools covering three main functional areas which are image segmentation driving analytical information about the segments and the classification so data output from one tool is then input to subsequent tools in image classification under imagery we are going to use the sequential or the step by step image uh, classification <coughs> so the object oriented process is similar to traditional image which is pixel based classification process utilizing supervised and uh, unsupervised classification techniques so here also we are going to use the most commonly uh, image classification method which is supervised or human assisted and unsupervised computer assisted image classification techniques so uh, instead of classifying pixels the process classifies segments in, in all object oriented image classification we are going to classify our image or our segmented image based on the grouped pixels instead of classifying each pixels so uh, this segmented or uh, this segments which can be throughout of the super pixels can uh, assist us class to classify the image into real world uh, objects so each each segment is in uh, image segmentation or super pixels is represented by a set of attributes that are used by the classifier tools to produce the classified image so the first step in obi or object-based image classification is segmenting an image 
or uh, grouping a pixels based on their uh, spectral characteristics or similarity so to use arcgis pro for image segmentation just click on your image or satellite image and then uh, come here classification wizard So here, uh, image classification wizard will do, will open here. Let me pause this video for a while. Uh, once this window is opened, here uh, we are going to select uh, classification method. In this case, we are I'm going to use supervised. There are two uh, methods of image classification and supervised and supervised. Just select uh, supervised. And uh, here is classification type, the two most commonly used pixel and object based. For this tutorial, we use uh, object based image classification and they ask us here uh, classification schema. Here we need to add a classification schema. You can use the default one or you can just create your own uh, classification schema. I'm using the default one for this tutorial. Then uh, specify your output location, rename your uh, output. Then uh, we continue to the next step. So here the second step is image segmentation. Here uh, we need to consider these three parameters in image segmentation. The first one is uh, spatial detail. Spatial detail, uh, the set level of importance given to the spectral difference of uh, feature in your image is defined by or determined by this spatial uh, spectral detail. So, uh, valid value of this spectral detail range from 1.0 to 20.0 in ArcGIS Pro software. Uh, a higher value of this spectral detail uh, is appropriate when uh, you have features you want to classify separately but have somewhat similar spectral characteristics so if your image has your pixels or image has similar characteristics but if they are different features on the ground you need to use a higher value of this spectral uh, detail parameter so smaller value of this spectral details results in more smoothing and uh, longer processing time so if you are going to use a small value of this spectral details, it may take you a uh, longer time for the process. So for example, uh, a higher spectral details value in a forested scene will result in a greater discrimination between the different three species. So if you are going to classify or if you are going to classify an image that consists of different three species, you can use higher value of this spectral details to discriminate each three uh, species so the second parameter in this uh, segmentation process is max uh, spatial detail and the set this one is uh, used to set the value of importance given to the proximity between features in your imagery so to to determine uh, the proximity between features or between pictures or imagery you need to st uh, specify uh, the value of this spatial detail so uh, similarly the valid value range of this spatial detail range from uh, 1 to 20 and the higher value is appropriate for a scene where uh, your feature of interest are small and the cluster together so if you have smaller features on your imagery and you need to uh, classify them separately you need to use higher value of this spatial uh, spatial detail so smaller value of this spatial detail creates especially smaller outputs and uh, you so if you use a smaller value of the spatial detail you will get a smaller uh, a smoothly uh, 
smooth uh, smooth output for example in urban scene you could classify impervious surface features using a smaller spatial detail value or you could classify buildings and the roads as separate classing classes using this higher spatial detail value so if you are classifying your image that consists of built up area or urban uh, urban scene you can use a higher value of this spatial detail in order to classify buildings and the roads separately so these uh, two parameters are the most important while you uh, use image segmentation using this ArcGIS Pro. The third parameter is minimum segment size in pixels. So this one, this is uh, the parameter is directory related to your minimum mapping unit. So segment is smaller than this uh, value of maximum uh, segment size are uh, merged with uh, their best fitting neighbor segment so uh, if your image is uh, one meter by one meter if and if you put uh, 20 here uh, pixels that are less than uh, 20 uh, segments which are less than 20 by 20 are merged to the uh, neighboring segment so this one is depends on based on your uh, pixel size of your image so for this tutorial, I'm going to, in order to save my time, I'm going to use a higher value of these two uh, spatial and spectral details. So I just used this uh, value for each, uh, for each parameters just to show you so the next step will be uh, uh, click next So here, uh, new layer which consists of the preview, uh, preview of segmented image will appear here. So our image is uh, segmented by using the given uh, parameters or the value of spatial and spectral details. You can change this value if you are not okay with the output of the segmented image. We can just change this value in order to get uh, a pure and accurate image segmentation. You can check your image and change this value in order to uh, create uh, a good uh, image segmentation. Or if you are okay with your uh, segmented image, you can just uh, continue to the next step so once uh, your image segmentation is completed you have to save your uh, work or your project So uh, this is how to we how we can uh, do the image segmentation using ArcGIS Pro. Then you can continue image classification or by using this segmented image, you select the samples for each uh, land covers. Here are the schemas. You can select by picking the segment by these tools. You can uh, select the representative pixels or groups of pixels. 
and you can continue uh, in your image classification this is how we can do the image segmentation on uh, ArcGIS Pro uh, this is all about my today's tutorial if you have uh, any comment you can just uh, put on the comment section and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you for your time Stay.